Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. So yeah, so by now you probably all figured that I am an addict to teddy bears and I need a 12-step program. There is no 12-step programs for uh, teddy bear uh, lunatics like me. So um, there's only like for alcoholics and whatnot. But I guess this is just as bad as alcoholism because once you get pulled in, you can't uh, just like easily come out unscathed. So now I probably have like 999 teddy bears in my house that are vintage and antique. And so I previously did a video showing you this mystery bear and it's vintage. It's probably from the 1950s or so. It's made out of mohair. It has glass eyes. It's fully jointed and it's almost like a beige or a gray color. And uh, so I added this little pin. I just thought it was adorable. Bears need love too. And uh, so I, uh, what do you call it? I'm trying to figure out who made this bear and nobody watches my YouTube channel. I probably have like maybe one view a year. So nobody's gonna probably even see this video, but if you happen to come along and see this video and know who my bear is, know who made it, how old it is, please, I'm begging you for the love of God, chime in below in the comments and uh, help me out here because I hate having a teddy bear that I know nothing about. Knowing nothing about like your teddy bear sort of sucks. It's like, I don't know, it becomes like a mystery bear and then you sit there for hours trying to figure it out by searching on Google and then you just sit there and one minute you might get an impression it's this, the next minute you'll get an impression it's that and it just absolutely sucks. So um, I'm like coming down to a few conclusions but they all seem wrong to me. So at first I thought this was a German Anton Kiesweta teddy bear also known as Pets, P-E-T-Z. And I do know that Pets Bears, although I don't have any in my collection, had these very um, cute triangular shaped noses. But the problem is, um, trying to identify this as a Pets Bear, is the fact that the nose is made out of felt. I don't know if you could see that. And so the um, other ones have thread, you know, by Pets. So, okay, so this is probably out. But then again, the Pets Bears that I've seen that are vintage, do have these pointy uh, toes. I don't know if you could see it right by the claw. It's like pointy. I'll show you the other one. See the pointy, pointy toe? It's almost like elf toes. But uh, so yeah, so like, um, I don't know. Now this bear, I do not feel, although I'm not an expert in any shape or form, I do not feel it's a reproduction bear. As you can see, it has various states of wear. And this is not like faked. Like wh whoever would make a reproduction bear, would it make it, um, this choppy in areas, um, unless, I don't know, they sucked at making bears. Um, he has stains. It's like rust stains on his head. At first, I was like, oh, no, I hope it's not doo-doo. But, no, this is just rust. Um, you can see, again, various uh, states of uh, wear. Um, this doesn't come on newer bears. You can see, like, the uh, thread showing through. He also has a kiss mark on the back of his head. It appears that somebody probably like in the 1940s, 50s, or 60s kissed it and had lipstick on. Um, I think that's like really disgusting, but maybe I can clean it and get it off. I don't know. So, okay, so here's some of the conclusions I've tried to make um, by looking at this bear. Now you're going to laugh. I'm going to show you my computer. I'm going to show you some pets bears. Now, my computer has cookie monster eyes on it, and that's because, um, I don't know, I read somewhere that hackers can get into your computer and actually watch you through your webcam and so i don't want to be caught in my underwear in my kitchen and have some like weird dude from like bangladesh staring at me so i put these stickers on but nonetheless here's some pets bears so here's an example of a pets bear apparently the person says this is around 1920 which my bear is probably way older and as you can see see the triangular shaped nose and that's what pets is known for those triangular shaped noses Here's another pet's bear. See, see the triangular shaped nose? Here's another one um, down here with a triangular shaped nose. Um, so that's like one idea I have. Here's some more pet's bears. And, you know, they vary. They don't all look the same. They have like different looks to them from different decades. But they did have that weird triangular shaped nose. And they do have pointed toes. I don't know if you could see like their pointed toes towards the tips. Okay, so that's one idea. And it's really freaking frustrating. I'm like, God damn it, who made this bear? And it's not going to uh, really um, tell me. Now, this is a character toy and novelty company, American Teddy Bear. And here's um, 
actually. Now, this one has the same type of eyes as mine. These big, big, like almost hazel uh, colored eyes. I'll show you again. There's mine with those big hazel colored eyes. Um, now, pay attention to that eye, and I'm going to show you the other bear again. As you can see, they're almost similar. So this is a 1940s character toy and novelty company teddy bear. It's almost gray or a beige like mine, and it has a bulbous shaped head, but the ears are way different than mine, as you can see. So the ears aren't the same. And I mean, it's not the same bear. So I'm like totally flipping out. I'm like, God damn it. I just want to know who made this bear, how old it is, what country was it made? Is it Germany? Is it France? Is it America? Is it England? Is it, I don't know, Timbuktu? You tell me. So if you know, please, please, please um, comment below. Like help me out here. E ease my agony because I'm just like, it drives me insane to have mystery bears. And um, unfortunately, when you collect vintage teddy bears and antique teddy bears, if you're not an expert, sometimes you're going to just never know who made your bear. And I don't feel like paying an appraiser. And most of these appraisers are bullshit artists anyway. They'll bullshit you and tell you, you have a this or you have a that. And they really, they never went to school. They never really had um, any kind of teaching. Um, there's really no antique and vintage teddy bear teachers out there that are going to sit there and you can get a degree and figure out who made these bears unless you're you've been collecting for 30 40 50 years and you just know by looking at these bears so i don't want to bother with these so-called experts like um there's a an expert a so-called expert on youtube i forgot her name dr Lori or something and her appraisals are all bullshit well not all of them but like i've seen her try to appraise antique dolls and she's appraised one of the dolls as like, a th oh, this is a $300 German doll. And it turned out, I know my dolls because I've been collecting for so long. It was uh, like a four or $5,000 French doll. And she was like swearing by that this doll was German and whatnot. So all these experts uh, out there, these so-called experts, really know jack shit. So I guess I'll never know unless somebody has another one of these bears in their collection. Or, um, ha you know, have one that has a tag or a mark or a button on it. Um, so I guess he's going to just remain this like mystery guy over here. So once again, thanks for watching.